my name is Ryan Water, and I wanted to uh, kind of talk about one of the major issues that we all have. Uh, in our Web 2.0 world, everything, how we identify ourselves with um, the various sites is basically our passwords. Uh, as you guys may have already known, Gawker was hacked uh, a couple mm -hmm. months ago, and uh, the entire database of passwords was released. The number one password from Gawker, uh, from Gawker excuse me, is 123456. Number two, password. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight it was the third most common one, and QWERTY was the fourth. Yeah, it's kind of surprising, right? Now, <coughs> uh, as we all know, that uh, computers are extremely fast in this day and age. Uh, if we were to take six lowercase um, alphabetic characters, and uh, <clears throat> there's only 308 million possible combinations that you can come out of that. Well, that sounds like a lot, right? But how fast are computers? <clears throat> That's not going to stand up for very long. So, if we take 26 lowercase letters, combine that with 26 uppercase, that's going to give you uh, 52 numbers. If you then add uh, numeric in there, 0 to 9, that gives you another 10. And then just for kicks, we're going to add in two more characters. Because then that will give us 52 plus 12, which is 64. Hey, we like 64, right? Now, just to give you kind of a comparison on the strength of a 64 uh, uh, character uh, passwords. If you combine that uh, a comparison of the six lowercase alphabetic, it, uh, what comes out of here is 308 million. Now, if you do that with 64, you now have 68 billion combinations. Now, to kind of also to kind of show you what really what you should have is if you do now a 10 character password versus a 12 character password or a 13 character password. Well, that 13 character password is more than the total estimated number of stars in the entire universe. To give you kind of sites. Now, what do we do about that though? We have one fantastic password, right? How many sites do we all use daily? You have Twitter, you have Facebook, you have Google Mail, you have Yahoo Mail, you have uh, they estimate anywhere between 50 to 60 sites for the average person, including your bank accounts. Now, how many of you guys use their, your A same password as your mail as your bank account? You know, it's, it's, you shouldn't. Entirely too many people do. That's one of the common ways to uh, um, steal uh, identity, identities and that sort of stuff. Is they are able to go in, hack one account, and then be able to go, hey, I, let's try Chase. Let, we have their email address, let's try uh, Chase with this password, or let's try uh, and any other things, etc. And this is where uh, comes in uh, password managers. Because really, the, we are required to ident identify ourselves with so many different unique sites that, and we need to have very high secure passwords that we just can't physically remember them, unless you guys are much, much better than I am. Uh, I was going to show you guys one of my favorite ones uh, in LastPass, but for some reason I am not able to, um, the Wi-Fi is not working, uh, good enough for me to log in. Uh, one of the uh, neat things that it does is when you sign up for this, um, and take a step back. Whether it's LastPass, KeyPass, OnePass, or any of the other solutions, you should try to use those. Those will greatly enhance you. I like LastPass because it uh, uses the cloud, and the way they do it is they actually, the only thing they store in their database is uh, salted hashes. They have no way of knowing anything about you. Uh, so, and one of the uh, things that it does is they have the ability to integrate into all the major um, uh, operating systems, browsers, uh, including phones, um, tablets, etc. One of the uh, benefits they do is once you go through and sign it up, they will go and tell you how good your password scores are. Uh, and the security challenge, as you see, mine's at 93.5%. When I first started, it was at 17%. Uh, it took me a month and a half to kind of work through and, and go through this and try to figure out, okay, yeah, when I went through all the sites, I was using a password here, a password there, a password there, and you don't realize how many times you reuse those passwords. So it says it scanned 100 sites, average password strength, average password length, gives me all kinds of data. I also have a multi-factor authentication score. It's another reason why I like LastPass, because I have a YubiKey in my hand here, that, uh, so it adds two form uh, authentication. Uh, it gives me, uh, and then it gives me the results of the various sites and, and how strong the passwords are. So that's it. Thanks.